All right, today I'm gonna to show you how to put together JJ's uh, Lockback Night Kit. Up in the container, you have the instructions. They're illustrated step by step. In, in the package, you've got two sides, two inlays or um, scales, a lock bar, a spring, and a blade four pins and one shield. The first step, and this, I'm gonna use super glue. This is just uh, super glue. You could use a white glue or wood glue, your choice. But I'm just gonna tack this down while we're uh, just assembling it for the video. This is the front cover the, with the, the side with the shield. Glue it in place, empty the pins. We're gonna put the shield right into that location. And we're gonna set that aside to cure for a minute. We're gonna do the same thing with this side. If you're doing this at home, I would recommend you let the, the glue set before you continue with the assembly. So all of that's in place, those are ready. We're gonna put this, we'll call this the back side. We're gonna put it face down and we're gonna put a pin in each hole. And the last pin. All the pins are in place. We're gonna take the spring. This is the spring. Um, and I have a piece of wax. This is something I had around the shop. You could use a birthday candle or white crayon, anything. Wax is a good lubricant for these, the burnt edges kind of leave uh, the, the resins in the wood, might make it a little sticky, depending on how freshly cut the part was when you received it. Uh, but we're going to rub a little wax on that, it's the spring, the blade where it rotates around the lock bar, just a little bit. It's, uh, it's mainly just to uh, give the little lubrication. The wax is not packaged with the kit, but most people have some, some form of uh, birthday candle or a little votive candle at home. So I've, I've, I've waxed all the parts. We're going to put the spring down. It goes directly on those two pins on the far left. Next, we're going to put the lock bar down in place. It goes on the center pin and it rests right there. Next, I'm going to spring this back. You can kind of see how it springs and opens. I'm going to spring it down. And we're going to put the blade in place. And the last step is to put the top cover on. We're gonna fit it on these, these two pins first, then this one. I'm kind of doing this from an angle, I can't see well. Okay, so there's the first two in place. Everything is in, in the spring is causing tension. So the part, the holes may not look like they line up, but that's only because the spring and the lock bar our intention and you have this 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 final pin you can see that does not line up with this hole we have to put it on our, our work surface and we're going to shift this top cover up and then push it down on that last pin all the pins are in place the knife is fully assembled and we just have to make sure we press the lock bar to release the lock and It'll open and close with the spring action. This is the last pin to be uh, to tackle when you get these three in place. Enjoy your lockback.